Uh, hey guys, I was supposed to do a, a tutorial on normal mapping, like, oh, no, it probably would have been about 10 months ago now. <laughs> Pro probably something like that, not enough. That's, uh, I thought, I thought bed late than ever. So I'm just gonna whip over something real basic, because I was supposed to do a gear one as well, so I mean, I'll, I'll cover a bit, a bit more shit in the, in the gear tutorial -y thing. Not that that'll be amazing, but anyway, um, uh, I'm gonna try and make I'm gonna normal map something like this, the the Kawasaki logo on the seat here. So, actually, gotta find myself a, a nice Kawasaki logo. Um, you can get you can get things off of this this website called something like our logos of the world, and it's all in like EPS format or something, so you can use it in. Um, I don't know, there's a program you use it in, I can't remember the name of it, I don't, I don't use it much. Uh, it's like Illustrator, I've never really used it. Um, before I actually do this, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to whip over something real quick. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a new layer, delete this one. Um, half of this can be grey. So the way I'm going to teach you guys how to do normal maps is we're going to pretty much work off of um, like kind of like a height map format kind of thing. So anyway, um, obviously grey is going to be our neutral, um, black is going to be the low point, and white is going to be the high point. Um, and we'll also draw white over here. As you can see, this part here is transparent. Um, in a second, you'll find out what that means. I'll make a transparent one here. I'll put some black here. There's one here. Okay. So, the one thing you're going to need uh, when you're making normal maps is a filter called NVIDIA Tools Normal Map Filter. You probably just Google that and you'll be able to find it. Um, okay. The settings you're gonna use uh, use max RGB. Some people prefer biased, but it really doesn't actually work that well, as it turns out. It doesn't take into account black and white so much. Um, some has inverted Ys, but because of the way we do it, you just need to invert the X because it's gonna come out pre-inverted something like that but anyway just just set it up like this and um, you'll get a good end result um, I set this to zero you can have it set to unchanged which pretty much means anything that's alpha will still remain alpha um, this is really helpful for certain parts which we'll probably get into later but for now we'll keep it as set to one um, I have my scale at 5, I mean, 5 is a pretty decent scale, you can probably have it at whatever you want, you know, we'll hit OK. Now as you can see, um, give me a second, I'll duplicate this, I'll show you, I'll do it again, OK, now as you can see, the black part looks like it popped up, but like I said, the game's um, green channel, or I think it's the Y, is inverted, so it, it's actually it's actually going down as it turns out. Um, like I said, with the the alpha part, alpha is the equivalent of white for some reason, meaning it really doesn't do much. So it's always a good idea to have grey as your background. But um, yeah. That's pretty much it, really. So we will move on. Uh, anyway, we have our Kazaki logo. I'm gonna scale it down dramatically because it's too big. It's just, it's just too big. And I'll double click this, and it'll show me the actual pixel size. And then it's still too big, so I mean, scale this to like 60, 60. You know, looks like a good size. Get rid of our background. Uh, make sure you know what you want. We'll keep our background. Um, 
as you can see, something that tends to happen when you get logos off the internet is it'll have like a white background, or maybe it'll have a black background. If I was to invert it, it would have a black background. Uh, in order to get rid of this, we are going to go up to uh, select color range, and then we'll click white for our color range. We'll have fuzziness at like a hundred. Um, sometimes you need to play around with this, but anyway. And then we'll just hit delete. And then hopefully that should have gotten rid of all to an extent. I'll come up to levels and then we'll swipe this all the way across to 255 and that'll get rid of the black. A bit of a cheater method, but it should be right. Anyway, uh, duplicate our logo. And now we're going to make a couple files. Uh, this one can be our height map. So now, um, so obviously we want it to look like this, which means that we're going to need we're going to need a black background, black being the lowest point, and then we're going to need the Kawasaki part to be white. So if we hold Control and click the thumbnail, it'll select our Kawasaki part, make a new layer, and we make that white. So, yep, looks looks good. Um, the other thing is it has this kind of outline to it. So we're just gonna draw that up, quick smart. Um, something like that, and then we're gonna remove the chunk in here, and. Yep, yeah, looks kind of similar, and make a new layer, and we're going to make this chunk nearly white, it's going to be very s close to that colour, so something like, uh, 235, that way it won't have as much pop as the actual logo, because when you look at it, the logo itself doesn't pop off of that very much just a smidgen. Anyway, <coughs> so this is going to be our height map, and we also notice that there's like a little indent that goes around for the stitching, I mean we could half ass that really quickly, uh, we could stroke inside, nope, Where? stroke inside at something like 6, um, use a gradient actually, there's, there's a few gradient sets we can use here, but We'll set that at 70, set this at 71, um, is that, that colour range, 